Hi boys and girls, today we're going to talk about a very famous Mexican artist. Her name is Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo is one of the most famous painters in Mexico. She was inspired by all of Mexico's surroundings. A lot of her paintings showed cactuses and plants and little animals that she found throughout Mexico. She was heavily influenced by all of the Mexican art styles. One of the oldest Mexican art styles is Mexican folk art. You can tell it's Mexican folk art because everything is handcrafted and they use very bold and bright colors and lots of shapes. Which brings us to our next project, a Mexican folk art cactus drawing. Our learning goal for this project is we're going to be producing work of art through drawing that utilizes types of lines, shapes, textures, and movement. Our learning target is I can use lines in my art and I can use space in my art. When we talk about using space in our art, we talk about the space of the picture. So we're gonna be taking up the entire picture with our drawing of our cactus. Because the focus of our project is a drawing, a lot of the materials listed are optional. You will need something to draw on, whether it's a piece of paper, the back of an envelope, or a brown paper bag. You'll need something to write with. I recommend a pencil in case you make a mistake, you can erase your mistake. And then if you would like to add color to your picture, you can use markers, crayons, paint, pastels, or colored pencils. In just a moment, we're gonna do a step-by-step -step how to draw our folk art cactus. In the meantime, if you'd like, you can find these directions under the Files tab and you can take a look at them on the computer or you can print them out if it's easier to follow along that way. All right, let's get started. Welcome back, boys and girls. All right, today we are going to draw our Mexican folk art cactus. So the first thing I want you to do is get, find a piece of paper and you can use a piece of paper, you could use a brown paper bag, whatever you'd like to draw on. And we're gonna set it up so that it's vertical, which is long way up and down. So the first thing you wanna do is set your paper down vertically. Again, that is hamburger style, long way up and down. And we're gonna go to our step one for our Mexican folk art cactus. And we're gonna start with making the base. So we're gonna make the pot that our cactus is gonna sit in. So the first thing that you do is to kind of a two part for step one, we're gonna start by drawing like a rectangle shape towards the middle. And then we're going to go ahead and we're gonna add the bottom part of our pot for our cactus to fit in. And remember, when we're working on this, we're doing a drawing, so we're going to make sure that we draw. If you wanna use a marker, you can use a marker like I am, or you can use a pencil. I prefer you guys to use a pencil, just in case you make a mistake, you can use your eraser. And remember, we're working with lines and the space. And when we talk about space, we're talking about the whole page. So I don't want you to make a little itty bitty pot. We wanna make sure that we take up enough space, but we also wanna leave space so we can add our big cactuses coming out. All right, so now we're ready for step two. So step two, we're gonna add our first part of our cactus, which is just a big circular oval shape. And then we're moving on to step three, and we're gonna add a smaller one to the bottom. Okay, moving on to step four. Step four, we're gonna add two more extensions to this part of our cactus. So we're gonna add one here, we're gonna add one here gonna start to look a little bit like Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> All right, now we're ready for step five. Step five, we're gonna add another extension over here to this part of our cactus. Okay, now we're ready for step six, and we're gonna start adding in some details to make it look like a folk art. So Mexican folk art focuses on patterns, big shapes, and bright colors. So we're gonna start adding our big shapes using our dark, bold lines. So now we're gonna add a design in the top part of our pot. And now we're ready for step seven and we're gonna add a stripe right down here on the pot of our cactus. So we're gonna add one straight line here, another straight line here. Moving on to step number eight and we're going to add three circles inside our pot. So we're gonna add one circle, two circles, and three circles. All right, now for the last step, for step number nine, we're just gonna add and finish off some of our details. So right now, it looks like our cactus is kind of floating in the air. We wanna anchor him down to the table. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a line and we're gonna start at one end of the paper. 
We're gonna go across and we're gonna stop because we don't wanna go through our pot, but we wanna stop when we get to the pot. And then use your finger to follow along across to see where it might come out on the other end. We're gonna start here and go all the way to the edge of the paper. Now it looks like it's sitting on something, so we've anchored it down. Now we need to add the most important part of a cactus so we can tell what it is, and that is the little prickly parts to a cactus. So we're gonna go ahead, and this is also creating some visual texture. So when we add our cactus, the little needles that come out of our cactus, we're adding visual texture because right now it doesn't look like it's very smooth anymore. It looks like it may have a feeling to it where it may be sharp or rough. So that is adding visual texture. The reason it's visual is because if we touch it right now with our hands, we can't feel anything because it's a piece of paper. So it's just a drawing of a piece of paper. If we were able to feel it, then that would be considered actual texture. But since we're just seeing it, it's visual. Okay, so we're gonna add some here. And now, since we are focusing on this just being a drawing, you do not have to add color unless you want to. But right now, we're finished drawing our details. If you wanna add extra details, like a background or something on the bottom part under here, under the pot of the cactus, you can go ahead and do that. Or you can go ahead and be finished, Make sure that you take a picture when you're finished and upload it to me. And if you want to, go ahead and add some color. I hope you had fun.